In this video, we're gonna dive a little deeper into the Roland Juno X and explore how to create a sound as well as how to group some of these sounds together and create a scene. The Juno X has a hierarchy that it uses to organize sounds. And at the bottom level of this hierarchy are tones. And a tone is simply an individual sound that can be played on the keyboard. The way that tones are organized and that they can be grouped together or layered to create more complex sounds is through a scene. Each scene can comprise of up to five parts, with parts one through four being locations where you can recall a tone, and part five is reserved for a rhythm part. Scenes can also store individual settings for each part, such as sequence data, as well as panning and volume information, and common settings for the parts, such as the effects. To navigate the preloaded scenes, simply select one of these number buttons from one through 16. That's gonna take you through the 16 locations in that particular scene bank that you're on. If you want to go to any of the other 16 scene banks, simply hold down the scene button and then select the number of bank that you want to go to. Scene banks one through seven are preloaded and they come with the models that are listed here. So scene bank one is based around the Juno X native sounds. Scene bank two is the Juno 106, scene bank three is the Juno 60, and so on and so forth. So say I wanted to select an XV5080 sound. I'd hold down the scene button and then press the number four key to jump over to scene bank four and then press uh, whichever number key to access that particular scene. So here scene one is the XV5080 bell pad. Cool, so scene banks eight through 16 are reserved as user scene banks. So let's head on over there now. These are a great starting place if you want to create your own scenes. So I'm going to head on over to scene bank eight, location one. When you get over to the user bank scenes, you'll find that all these scenes are initialized scenes. So we can just start creating our own scene right away. If we wanna access the different parts, remember we've got five parts to work with, hold down the part button here. And then these, these five buttons here allow me to select which part I'm editing. And then these five buttons here allow me to turn the parts on or off. So I'm gonna leave this on part one. And even though it's an initialized scene, if I press the model button right here, this is showing me that the tone that's associated with part one right now, it's been assigned to the first Juno X tone, which is deep saw time. Now I can go ahead and I can use the sliders to manipulate that sound. If I wanted to change the envelope. However I want to manipulate that, I can use the sliders to, to change that. But what if I wanted to actually start from just an initialized tone, not with a preset tone? I can do that too. And to accomplish that, I'm gonna press down the Shift key as well as the Enter key that has the secondary function listed underneath it as init. And then I can initialize this tone by pressing Enter, click OK, yes. And then you'll see that I have a Juno X initialized tone. Okay, now I can go ahead and use the sliders to build my sound. Can also add LFO if I want. Can add effects. Okay, so if I was looking to use that as the starting place for my sound, then I wanna add another part to that. Press down the part button, access part number two, and we'll turn it on. And then we can go and go over to the model bank. Here's a, a Juno 106 preset. Okay, so say I wanted to mix those together, I can press the part level button here up in the oscillator sliders, and then this becomes a part mixer. Now one cool feature that the Juno X has 
is that for the Juno 106 and the Juno 60 models, if I scroll through to around, I think it's around 77 here, you'll see that the uh, name of the patches in all capitals. And what that signifies is that that is actually an original Juno 106 patch that's been loaded into the Juno X. So any of these patches that are listed in all caps are uh, original to the modeled keyboard. The ones that are listed with uh, a mix of caps and lowercase are just new sounds that have been created using the Juno X. So now I'm gonna edit part three. Press down the part button, select number three. I'm gonna turn part three on. And let's go over to the model bank. Now say this time I wanted to select an RD piano model. I would just simply select the uh, bank five there for the RD, the preloaded RD piano uh, model. And then I can go through and select whatever piano I want to use. So I'll choose expressive bright. I can mix those using the part mixer. All right, so a little bit of an unusual sound, but say I'm happy with that and I wanna save it, then I can press down the shift key and press the menu button. The secondary function is right. So from there, I have some various options to be able to save this. I can save the scene as well as the tone. I can save just the scene or the other, uh, or each individual part, the tone that I've created for each individual part. Okay, so if I wanted to save it as a whole scene along with the tones, that would be the first option, press enter. And then it's gonna bring me, uh, take me through some prompts to be able to save this into that user bank or wherever, I, whatever location I choose. So there's a brief overview of how to put together uh, your own tone as well as create your own scene in the Roland Juno X. If you're interested in finding out more about this keyboard, you can head on over to AmericanMusical.com.